Governor Niao has had some great updates recently. But if you are still missing the Dodge and Burn tool, stay tuned and watch this video because I have a great hack for you that I think you're going to like even better than the Dodge and Burn tool and you'll never go back. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor and I teach beginning and intermediate photographers like you how to improve their photography from capture and camera all the way through to the end of the editing process, including using Luminar Neo. So if you're ready to have your mind blown with this Luminar Neo hack, let's get started. I've already done some edits to this image of the boat. You can see that I did a sky replacement and adjusted some of the other tones, but I want to bring out the boat a little bit more and darken the reflection in the water. So I'm going to use the develop tool. So I've already used develop raw originally on the image, as you can see in my edits panel, but by simply applying it again, I can adjust the settings to lighten or darken. So the only drawback of using the develop tool for dodging and burning is that you do have to apply it twice, once for lightening with those settings and again for darkening. Let me show you. So I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit and of course you see it affect the entire image. I'm going to increase the highlights and even smart contrast because wherever I'm lightening I actually want to add a little bit of contrast as well. And I can even use things like color adjustment here. And this is the main reason why I love this better than the Dodge and Burn tool. Because not only can I add some brightness to the boat, I can actually shift the color. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and just a tiny bit of magenta to warm it up a little. Once I've got the settings that I'm happy with, now I'm going to mask it. I'm going to start with a radial gradient and draw it to fill or cover the boat approximately. Once I'm happy with the placement of the mask, of course I need to invert it so that the tool is applying inside the circle and not outside. Now I can continue adding to the mask using the brush or any of the other methods. So I'm going to go back to the main panel and if I want to see the mask, the mask is still there, it's just not visible. So just click show under this mask action section here to see where the mask is. Now I'm going to add to it with a brush. Anytime you're doing dodging or lightening like this, make sure that you dial the strength down really low. You want to build it up gradually instead of just make one really obvious brush stroke. So I'm going to use strength around 10. I'm going to get a small brush and actually lower the softness a little bit so that my brushwork is confined to smaller areas with less fade. Okay, that's what softness does. Now I'm just going to go over here and start painting. I'm going to adjust some areas that I want to lighten a little bit and I want to bring attention to a bit more the rocks in the foreground, maybe these grasses down here, anywhere that I want to lighten or draw attention to. Of course I can even go further on the boat and get any spots that I missed with the radio mask. Let's go a tiny bit stronger with the paintbrush. Let's go about 20%. I'm using the keyboard shortcuts to make the brush bigger and smaller. I have a free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcut PDF sheet. If you'd like to download that, there's a link to do so in the video description below. Let's take a look at what I've done so far. There's the tool off and on. You can see it's quite subtle, but if I want to increase it, I can just paint with a stronger brush or go over it a few more times in the areas that I want to lighten. And it's fully flexible. So unlike the dodge and burn tool that when you closed it, the edits were applied, I can come back to this tool at any time and continue editing. That means that I can adjust any of the sliders and make them brighter. I can add more contrast or I can shift the color. So if I want it even warmer, I can do that at any time. 
Are you starting to see the benefit of using develop instead of the dodge and burn tool? So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply that by closing the tool. Then I'm going to open it again, and this time we're gonna go the other way. So I'm going to darken. Now I may also want to add a little bit of coolness into the shadows. Once again, I'm going to mask, and this time I'm just going to go straight to brush, lower the strength, and start painting it in to areas that I want to darken. Let's start with these trees up here. And by doing this in a very custom way like this, you're actually creating light that wasn't even there in the first place. So I can darken the sand in certain bits and give it more contrast. I can also go really lightly and darken this bit of the water. Remember I said it was too bright in the reflection. So I can darken gently around the boat. Notice that it's picked up inside the window here, so I wanna darken that. So I'm just getting the boat. Let me do a little bit more and then we'll take a look at a before and after. Here's a before and after the burning or darkening. Now let's hop over to the edit panel and see what the image looked like before I applied develop twice. The only thing that I wish that we could do in Luminar Neo is to rename these edits because then I could rename this one develop dodge and call this one develop burn so I know which one is darkening and which one is lightening. But let's go back one step prior to adding those and see how it looks. This is the before and that's after my dodging and burning. So let me know in the comment area below how valuable do you think this is going to be for you? Rate it on a one to 10, 10 being, wow, this is amazing. Tell me how valuable this little Luminar Neo hack or trick is for your photo editing. I wanna show you one other image that I edited using this same trick. This is actually an example image from my Luminar Neo, the complete course. If you are interested in taking that course, you actually get access to both of these raw files because then you could follow along with the demonstrations in the course. Let me show you the before and after on this one. So this is the total before, before any edits, and that's the total after. You could see in the edits here that develop has been applied twice. So similarly to what I did with the boat, I used it for dodging and burning. If I hop back one step below those, you can see what it looked like prior to dodging and burning. Then let's hop up to the second develop, and you can really see a big difference here. Then I did several other adjustments after doing dodging and burning to come up with this final image. If you want to learn more Luminar Neo tips and tricks, watch one of the videos on the screen now. If you enjoyed this trick, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next video release. I'll see you soon. Take care.